it's not a walkthrough, playthrough, review, anything like that. It's just me playing the game badly so you can see what it looks like. Okay, then this is uh, Sub Rock by Sega on the ColecoVision. Um, yeah, wow. So you control a crosshair for something, I don't know what. Are you in a spaceship or a submarine or a ship or I have no idea. But um, yeah, if you move your crosshair like below the horizon, you fire torpedoes. And if you move it above, you fire some kind of anti-aircraft gun or something. You're being attacked by all kinds of stuff. But you know what's gobsmacking? The size of the sprites. Um, I mean, the game doesn't play especially well in terms of frame rate and stuff. But, look at these. Look at that. They're pretty damn huge. And I mean, this, this, this is a, uh, like, what the hell? <laughs> this is an ancient console. Atari 2600 era. Well, it's a little bit later than that. But, you know, 1980-something. Up to about 1983. And, uh... Alright, it's not moving them around quickly, but it is moving some pretty enormous sprites. And that impresses me greatly. Um, I can't say the game itself is... Oh, wow. It reminds me of some really early arcade games I played. The kind of thing that... Electromechanical games played like this. What's that? Oh, wow. Yeah, I played in electromechanical games that were a lot like this. You'd have sort of rollers that simulated waves. Um, and little models trundling along. I don't know what these geezers are. I love it. It's it's really wow. What? It's incredibly basic, but I don't care. It is. It's got a charm to it that I haven't encountered on an old wow on an old video game in a long while. I'm guessing that was an end of level boss. Yeah, it would seem to be. Nice going, play round two. Okay, more of the same. Are we gonna have the same? Yeah, it's pretty much exactly the same. I suppose there will be more of them, or more of those things. The, the, the element, I mean, they did this kind of thing in Star Wars, the arcade game, you know, with the, with the fireballs coming towards you. Let's blow up the aircraft carrier. We're at midway. Well, that one was going some. Hello. These look like Klingons. Speaking of Klingons, I have been watching both the new Star Trek series that lots of people seem to be upset about because certain details and things just aren't what they want. Personally, I like it. I've only seen two episodes, but I liked what I saw. I've also been watching um, The Orville, which is like, uh, what's his name? I've forgotten his name, the guy who does Family Guy and what's it. It's his take on Star Trek, and it's kind of, is it a comedy? It's sort of, it's not exactly a spoof. It's kind of like Star Trek would be if Star Trek was filled with people who behave like dicks. Um, so in a sense it's more realistic. <laughs> and it does deal with some sort of real issues. And I, I don't think it entirely works as a show. It doesn't really know what it is, or if it does, I don't. Um, but I, I, I do keep watching it anyway. There's something, uh, maybe it's just, uh, I'm, I'm just watching it because I'm thinking, what the hell is this? But, uh, Seth MacFarlane, that's who I'm talking about. 
Are we still going? Oh, we've got that thing again. Yay! That was kind of easy. I do wonder if I need new capacitors in this thing, or actually if it's just electrical interference from something, all these speckles. It might just be that. It sort of has that look about it. And God knows this power supply is a relic, so... Uh, well, everything about it is a relic. Okay, I'm going to end there. I've already forgotten what the game's called, but it will be written at the top of the page or underneath the page or something. I mean, it, it, it's, it's repetitive. It's not very advanced, but I do like it because big sprites on a really old console game. Mystery? What mystery? I guess that's the mystery. Oh, yeah. I'm still going. I was going to stop, but I haven't. Why does it keep chucking that? Oh. Yeah. Okay. That'll do. That was whatever it's called in the title that you can read on the page somewhere, probably. Because I've forgotten. Thank you for watching. Ah, there you are. Have you finished polishing the silverware like I asked you? Yes? Splendid! Here's 50 pence. Now, go and click the subscribe button like a good peasant. <laughs>